Prime and I went to the Grand Bend Flea Market in Ontario, Canada this year. Uh, actually, it was this past summer, so again, I'm very late on showing you these items. We finally made it! It's a really cool place. There's a lot of vendors. There's a lot of really good food. It was very busy when we went. But there was only like maybe three vendors that actually had vintage toys, maybe a maybe four. This man who was selling, he had tables full of all kinds of random stuff. You name it, he had it. And then kind of hidden under one of the tables, he had this blue um, plastic tote just full of Barbie stuff. Well, not just Barbie stuff. I'll show you. There's a few more things in there. A, a real mix of different things. So let's get into it. Okay, everyone. The first item that I got was this girl. This is Tooth Fairy Barbie from 1994. And who do you think I am? The Tooth Fairy? These are not her original earrings. It looks like her earrings have been replaced. I don't think these belong to her. Um, <laughs> I think she originally had like white stud earrings. And she was a special edition from Walmart, apparently. You can check out her face there. She's got really pretty purple eyes. Um, and blue makeup, very pretty girl. I'm pretty sure this is Tooth Fairy Barbie. And the reason that I know that is, let me just, one sec. But only momentarily. Ta-da! <laughs> she has the painted on tights. Actually, apparently these aren't painted on. Apparently the plastic itself is actually white. And she's got these little cute uh, molded on pink ballet slippers. Obviously her hair is really rough. That's gonna take a bit of time to uh, fix that. Um, and she's got a few chew marks in her arm here. Um, and her body is really loose. I don't have the Tooth Fairy Barbie outfit, but apparently she would have come with um, a, like a layered petal dress, a really pretty dress. It looked like it had little flower petals on it, really, um, really frilly, really fluffy, um, <laughs> as a Tooth Fairy Barbie dress should look like. Um, and it came in two colors. There was one that had more of a purple dress and there was one that had more of a, like a turquoise aqua uh, colored dress, which is really pretty. This is the one that came with the purple dress. And I know that because she has the purple eyes. Uh, the turquoise one had actually turquoise or like green eyes uh, to match the dress. This girl would have originally had bangs, but they're looking pretty rough. Um, we'll see if I can fix that. Maybe cut a few, a few new ones. Oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. My, my dog is down here. So if you hear, um, like snoring or strange noises, that's my dog. <laughs> she would have also come with a matching bag that you, the child could put their tooth in when they lose it. Um, and then the tooth fairy would come and collect it. Uh, she would have come with a pink brush, a cardboard wand, which is cool. And then she actually had cardboard wings that you could put on the back of her somehow. I didn't look into how they attach um, because she doesn't have any holes in her back or anything. So they must have just had like an elastic or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, I don't know. And then this dress, this is not a Barbie dress. And if you follow Lao Sky Painter, you'll recognize this because she actually just talked about this in uh, one of her previous Barbie hauls, just maybe like a week or two ago. Um, maybe more like a month ago uh, by the time this gets posted. Um, but yeah, you can see that the tag's got a little rabbit on it and then it says Lucky Ind Co. Limited, Lucky Industrial Company Limited, um, which is made in China. They, they had produced a, a line of, uh, fashions that could go on Barbie sized dolls, uh, back in the day. I don't actually know the date of, of this. I wasn't able to find this exact dress online, um, but it possibly comes from the Fashion Corner doll line, uh, which was produced by them. But like I said, Lao Sky Painter did a great job of explaining this much better than I am right now. So please go check out her Barbie haul videos. And I know she talked about this in one of them. She's clever. But yeah, this is a, a princessy blue dress. It's got the blue lace here. We've got white lace around the sleeves and then kind of a frill detail on the top, on the shoulders, and a pink rosette here with a little bow on the chest. Um, you can see that the dress is in rough shape. It's really faded, really, uh, the colors rubbed off. It's not very good quality. <laughs> 
Um, there is a second layer underneath that's like the sheer fabric. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this dress. I'm not a big fan, so <laughs> we'll see. And then the second thing that I got was this. I'm sure you recognize this face right here. This is Mulan from Disney. Um, I'm not actually a Disney collector, so that's not the reason that I picked up this doll. <laughs> um, but I did a tiny bit of research and I think this is the 2009 Sparkling Princess Mulan. Uh, just because she's got the sparkly eyeshadow right underneath her eyebrow here. Um, but like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a connoisseur of Disney dolls, so I could be wrong but on that. Um, she's in kind of rough shape only because she's got... She's got this chunk out of her chin and her lip right here. <laughs> Looks like somebody just took a bite right out of there. She actually has a really nice hairstyle, but yeah, it's not staying very well at the moment. It, you can tell it's been roughed up quite a bit. So she's seen better days, but I actually do like Mulan. I love the movie. Um, and I think she's really brave and strong and beautiful and all of the things that we all want to be. Um, but the reason that I actually picked this up was because of what she's wearing. Um, and as you know, or you may or may not know, that this is the Teacher Barbie dress. Teacher Barbie was released in 1995, and of course she was a teacher, and she came with, it was a talking chalkboard anyways, um, and it came with chalk, two little kids, a boy and a girl, and little desks, and, and it was a whole play set. It was really cute. Um, and this is the dress that would have come with Teacher Barbie. And if you look closely, you can see that she's got apples and rulers and numbers and letters on her dress. Ah! Oh, yes, 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 yes. She's got a white blouse, a red bow tie, cute little collar. And that's the back of the dress. It's got Velcro, Velcro closure on there. Um, and it is actually all one piece. It's not two separate pieces like the shirt and the dress are connected. <laughs> you can't take them apart. It's in okay shape other than this strap is coming off. So, but that should be pretty easy for me to sew back on. I'll just hand sew it back on again. Uh, and then I can put it on my teacher Barbie, which I do have. Um, it's hiding in here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I think I talked about it in video number 20, so check that out if you'd like to see the haul where I got the teacher Barbie. And then I also picked up this beautiful, beautiful girl. Oh, she is such a beautiful doll. She is especially beautiful. And I thought, oh, she must be very special because she's got little stars in her eyes. Usually if they have stars in their eyes, they're some kind of special Barbie from what I understand. Um, so I grabbed her right away, and also because of her outfit, and we'll talk about that later. Um, I'm sure you recognize the outfit if you're a, a Barbie collector. But I didn't know who this girl was, so it took me a while to figure it out. Um, but I believe that this is Angel Princess Barbie from 1996. She's got blue eyes and blue eyeshadow. She's got these pretty silver earrings. Now she's got a matching silver ring and her hair is so soft. Like it's so soft. <laughs> I could just do this all day. <laughs> and I actually did, didn't even know that Angel Princess Barbie was a thing um, because 1998 that's like I was well into high school by that point so I wasn't really into Barbie at that time. When I was doing research I was like wow Angel Princess Barbie is actually a really cool Barbie because she had these really big huge angel wings um, that you could put on her and they were big like they had to make the box bigger to to accommodate her wings <laughs> and once you put them on her she had like the wings had like a little um, plastic rings at the back you could put your fingers through and you could just kind of make the wings flap and the wings themselves were like this white iridescent material that kind of looked rainbowish in different lights really pretty and her dress was really beautiful too it had like the bodice was like a white shimmery um, fabric and then the skirt the skirt part of the dress was really ruffly big and poofy um, and the material was like this pinky blue white iridescent uh, material to kind of go with the iridescence of the wings really pretty <laughs> and she would have originally come with pearl white pumps or shoes and a matching white brush 
And then the dress that Angel Princess Barbie is wearing here currently is the Earring Magic Barbie dress from 1992. It's this pink uh, short dress made out of like a pleather material here. And then the top part is a sheer material. It's all one piece and it's got a Velcro closure at the back. And as you can see, she's got her uh, silver belt here with a little ring on it. She had all these different charms that came with her. Star charms, sun charms, heart charms, I think. Um, and she had big hoop earrings and you could you could switch up the charms between her earrings. You could put them on her her um, belt here. And then the Barbie also came with earrings that the child could wear, hoop earrings. And the child could put the charms on the earrings as well. So you could switch up your charms between you and your Barbie, which is so cool. And then I got this girl. Her hair is wacky, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Somebody's cut it and it's crazy. I'm not I'm not sure if it was intentionally cut to look like this or it was just some hack job. <laughs> the vendor that I got these Barbies from, he didn't want me to buy the the fashion pieces separate from the dolls. He didn't allow me to do that. So I had to buy this girl in order to get this piece here. This is actually Style Magic Barbie from 1988. Um, and the perk with her was that she had this hair that um, once you've kind of styled it or curled it, it would stay in place where you wanted it. So you could just put it up like that and it would stay, <laughs> it would stay where you left it. Um, it was a special kind of hair, Wondra Curl, I think it was called. Now that's a pretty good trick. So Style Magic Barbie actually came with like a little pink and turquoise uh, bodysuit. Uh, and then on top of that, there was like this little ruffle skirt that could double as um, like a shawl for her or it could double as a scrunchie for you, the child. She also came with a little plastic pink curling iron, a little pink comb, and then there was an, also another small ruffle that matched the big ruffle that you could put in the Barbie's hair, like a little scrunchie. And she had pink hoop earrings and a, and a matching ring, I believe. Her eyes are blue and then there's a bit of pink in there in her eye. Um, pink eyeshadow, very pretty. I mean, I'm not too concerned about this girl having cut hair because I think I actually have this Barbie somewhere in another haul. I don't know if I, I don't think I talked about her in any of my videos yet, but I'm pretty sure I have her. Not only is this girl's hair chopped, but she's also really dirty. <laughs> her legs are disgusting. Disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely needs a bath, a good scrub. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I don't know if I'll keep her. And then this bodysuit that she's wearing, it's got a hood on it. It's obviously a bright pink in Barbie-like fashion. Um, and it's got a plastic snap at the back here. This comes from Rappin' Rockin' Barbie from 1991, 92-ish. And the Rappin' Rockin' Barbie originally came with this pink hooded bodysuit. She came with a black shiny mini skirt um, and a matching bomber jacket that were like this pleather material. And she had a matching hat, um, gold and pink earrings, a ring and a necklace, um, lime green socks and pink running shoes. And then the feature of her was that she also came with this little working boom box that played rap music. I also got um, some fashions. And I got this one. Didn't recognize it at the time, but it looked it looked kind of familiar. This is the Ruffle Fun Barbie dress. Um, and most of the time when you look up Ruffle Fun online, you'll find that there's, you'll see this exact dress, but in pink. Um, this is the purple version. It said on the box, Ruffle Fun Barbie Fru Fru. Huh? F-R-O-U, F-R-O-U. I don't really know what that means. So Ruffle Fun Barbie was released in 1994, 95-ish. And the reason she was called Ruffle Fun Barbie was because she, in addition to this dress, she came with um, little ruffles or little scrunchies that you could, um, you could move around and restyle her in different ways. So you could use it as like a ruffle at the bottom of her dress, or you could put it around her shoulders. 
you know, in Barbie-like fashion, a lot of the Barbies from the 80s and 90s had this option to have some sort of thing wrapped around your shoulder that could double as something that you could wrap around your body somehow, or it could double as something that could go in your hair. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But like I said, Ruffle Fun Barbie would have come with this dress, a pink ruffle, pink shoes, a brush, and stud earrings. And then I got this fashion set here. It's a two-piece set, a skirt and a little floral top, pink floral or pink uh, background with like blue and purple flowers and yellow and green leaves. Um, the skirt has a yellow waistband and I know that this is from Barbie because there is a Barbie tag here. It's the purple bee here. Um, I'm not 100% sure which fashion pack this goes to. I have seen this same material used in other fashion packs. I saw it in the Clean In House pack from 1995, and I also saw this material used in the Easy Living Fashions pack from 1992. I could not pinpoint exactly where this fashion piece came from. I like it, it's really cute. I think it would look really cute on a Barbie. It's in good condition. It's got the Velcro closure on both pieces. Very pretty. And then I got these two fashion pieces here. Um, they both look like they're from probably the 90s. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. I couldn't pinpoint these two either. I mean, there was a lot of fashion packs that were released in the 90s that had very similar dresses as these. Um, same kind of materials, just reworked in different ways. Um, again, these are Barbie dresses because they both have the purple bees in them. Um, this blue one has a, a pink waistband here. And then we've got this pretty iridescent material on the sleeves and on the skirt. And then the same iridescent material is used to make this little rosette on the front here. And then the other purple dress, uh, just a shiny material, purple material. Again, a pink um, waistband. And then the same sheer pink material is used to uh, decorate the, the shoulders here. And then I got this piece, this little ruffle skirt here. Um, it's pink and white, and it's got this little panty piece at the bottom here, I guess, to keep it on. I believe this is the skirt from Babysitter Courtney from 1990. Babysitter Courtney, she was like this, this skipper-sized doll. Um, I think there was also a babysitter skipper as well. Um, but anyways, this is the skirt from Courtney. Um, and she originally came with a little baby and a rattle. Um, a baby blanket, a cassette player with headphones, you know, the old uh, Walkman. And then she had a variety of other small accessories that she came with. She had a green shirt with, that kind of matched the skirt, like the same sort of material. Uh, green shoes and then green hair bows. And then I got this piece. No idea what this is. Um, it looks like it could maybe fit a Ken doll or a male doll of some kind, but it's just a plain blue uh, kind of shiny material. There's no tags in it. Yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. And then the last Barbie thing I got from this vendor uh, was this chair. It's so cool, I really like this chair. This purple I want to call it a papazon chair, but I'm not sure if that's the a technical term for it. Um, I believe that this came with the patio pool party set from 1988. Uh, there was a couple of like patio pool play sets from that same year. It could have come with a couple of different ones, but I think that's the one. This chair would have originally had like a white cushion that you could put right in here. And then the Barbie sits on it nicely like that. Really cute. I'm definitely going to put this on display somehow. So like I said, that's all for Barbie stuff. Um, but I did pick up this little strawberry shortcake hat. This goes to the original strawberry shortcake doll herself. My goodness. Um, Really cute, pink with little red strawberries on it. And she's got her little embroidered strawberry at the front of her hat here. 
very iconic, very recognizable. I don't think I have to go into a ton of detail on this because most people know what this is. <laughs> I already have one of the hats, so this is what it would look like on one of the dolls. Um, so now I have two, which is cool. Very cool. And then while we're on the strawberry shortcake wagon, um, I also got this really cute little strawberry shortcake bonnet. I mean, I recognized the material, so that's why I grabbed it right away, but I had no idea what it was from. It's from the Drink and Wet Berry Baby doll um, from 1984. And this is her little baby bonnet. Um, there were four of these Drink and Wet Berry Baby dolls. Uh, there was the Blueberry Muffin, Lemon Meringue, Orange Blossom, and then Strawberry Shortcake. And the feature was with these was that they came with bottles. You could fill the bottles with water, make them drink, and then they would wet themselves. So of course they came with diapers. Uh, they also came with a hat, like I said, a hat, uh, socks, and a little nightgown. And like all strawberry shortcake dolls, they were scented. And then the remainder of this haul is all a lot of really random, one-off accessories from different toy lines. Um, I just dug through this tote of Barbie and other random accessories that he had and just picked and chose what I wanted. Um, I left a lot behind. He actually wanted me to buy the whole tote, but there was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't really recognize and a lot of um, playset pieces, just random playset pieces that I, I just didn't want to have all that stuff sitting here. Um, you know, there's limited space here. I don't want to clutter my space with all like random Barbie pieces that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> he said it was his last time at that market, so I think he was just trying to get rid of stuff. <laughs> and then the other piece I grabbed, because I recognized it right away, was this. This is from the Lady Lovely Locks collection from the Enchanted Island uh, series of dolls, which was Wave 2. Uh, they were released in 1987. I can tell because it's got the blue um, band around the waist that it belongs to the blonde Lady Lovely Locks Enchanted Island doll. Um, there were other skirts that looked almost exactly like this, except the waistbands were uh, pink and purple, but they would have gone with other dolls. It's got the iconic Lady Lovely Locks tag here where you could clip the pixie tails onto and pink, yellow, and blue ribbons connected underneath there. And of course the material is the classic Lady Lovely Locks iridescent material. Um, the skirt is kind of coming apart here. There's a bit of a rip there, so I don't think I'll be able to fix that, but it's not that noticeable. Like once you have it on a doll, it's at the back anyway, so you wouldn't be able to tell. I love Lady Lovely Lux. And then the next item that I picked up was this dress. You might recognize this as being from the Cherry Mary Muffin toy line. Oh dearie, I certainly do. Uh, because there is a little muffin, plastic muffin button right on the front of her dress there. This is the dress from the actual Cherry Mary Muffin doll herself, the blonde one. Um, but it's from the second series. Um, I know that because the material is polka dots. And, uh, whereas the first series had um, like a gingham pattern, this has pink polka dots. Again, very popular material back in that time. <laughs> Uh, this iridescent fabric. I just love this fabric. I mean, how can you not like it? It's just so pretty. It's got little lace detail across the front here and all along the edges of the dress. And there's some of the iridescent material along the shoulders here as well. And at the back, it does have a Velcro closure. So this is the first series or first wave of Cherry Mary Muffin. Um, as you can see, it's also pink and it's got the plaid or gingham um, pattern on it. Whereas the second series, very, very similar, except it's polka dots. And the muffin is a bit of, is a little slightly different colors. 
And then moving on to a totally different toy line once again uh, is this. I recognized the material right away as soon as I spotted it. Uh, this is from the Quince toy line. I don't have much from the toy line, but I do have five Quince dolls. Uh, this is from the Bottle and Bunting set from 1989. Um, and it was, this is basically a little sleeping bag for these, these little Quince dolls. I'll see if I can <laughs> put them in there. So there's five little slots in here. Um, the Quince were these five little baby dolls and they all came in different sets, different play sets. Um, there was a set of blonde dolls, a set of this um, like brown haired color. There was also a set of um, black haired dolls. They were released in different years with different play sets and they all had their own uh, color that represented them. On the back of their diapers, they've got well, they should have hearts <laughs> that have numbers on them. And each, um, and each baby has a different colored heart with a different number on it. These ones are definitely faded, but you can see this is the yellow one and that's the blue one. Ta-da! See, they're in their little sleeping bag all grouped together. Very cute. They're cute. But this set, like I said, came with five of the Quint dolls. Um, and it also came with this long plastic stick. <laughs> but the stick had five bottles um, along it that you could feed all five babies at one time. Each bottle had a color on it that coordinated with the matching uh, doll. <laughs> I think this may have been the very first quince set that was produced. Um, I think I read that somewhere, but not 100% sure on that. And then I picked up this pink gem comb, uh, Gem and the Holograms. Me and my friends are gem girls, gem. Uh, there were a lot of pink combs from Gem, lots of different shades. It's really hard to pinpoint which one this came with, but this is classic pink gem comb. I actually already have this exact comb, so um, now I have two. I got this big bag of accessories. Wow! You might recognize this key right here. That'll give you a hint of what all this stuff is here. So all of these accessories in this bag are from the Precious Places uh, toy line. And these are all play sets that were released between 1989 and 1990. And it was the series of like different buildings and little people and little accessories and furniture and stuff. And the feature with it was that everything you did in these, in these houses had to do with using these magnets. <laughs> so each of these play sets came with these keys that had magnets on them. And you could, like I said, you could use these magnets to do all kinds of different things within these play sets. This, play set is called the kitchen play set number 5171. Um, this isn't the whole set. None of these items that I have here are complete. This is just little piece, bits and pieces from each one. And in this play set, you would have had these keys, like a greenish aqua colored key. I actually have two of these. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get two in this. That was lucky. And there's a little cute little stove here. Aqua stove with heart in the front. You can open it. This one doesn't require a magnet to open. And then there was this little sink with little pretend uh, cupboards, cabinets above it. I think there was supposed to be a door here as well. Yeah, it's even got a little towel rack on, on the back, on the side there. It also came with this little tea kettle. <laughs> so tiny and so cute. I'm surprised that uh, some people are able to find these things. Usually I see tiny little pieces at the thrift store. I don't even look at them because I'm right over my head. I don't know what it's for. <laughs> I have this little piece. This is actually the door of the fridge that would have matched the uh, stove that I just showed you. But you can see it's got a magnet on the handle here. So you would just use the magnet to open the fridge door. And then on the other side of the door is little shelves. And then I picked up some um, 
some other furniture from the bedroom furniture set number 5173, which was also sold separately from the buildings. Um, we've got this little white and lavender colored bed. Very cute, lots of hearts. <laughs> really adorable. And then we have a matching piece of furniture here, um, like a little writing desk and it's got little doors that open. And then it also came with this little cute flower arrangement as well. Adorable. Adorable. And then I got this little girl wearing a pink and purple dress and pink shoes and a purple hat and this little scooter thing that she could ride. You could put her on there and she could go for a ride. And then if you look underneath both her and the scooter, you can see they both have magnets for use with the key. And you can see there's a picture of this little girl on the key. It matches, pink key. So you can see these buildings all had thin plastic floors and then you could slide the key underneath the floor and put these little girls or dolls on top of the floor and then you could move them around. It looks like they're walking around or dancing around. You could put this little girl on the scooter and then you could use the key to drive the scooter around as well. There was also little pathways that came off of the buildings and you can make them ride along these little pathways or sidewalks. And then I got this little tiny little girl. <laughs> She is from the Baby's Nursery Cottage, number 5161. And she had come with a little baby cradle here. It's got a little heart on it, really cute. And then inside there's a little pillow and a little rattle. You can see that the one side is a little bit broken here. Um, but yeah, she goes in there. This play set also came with a little television. Little pink television. You can see that she's watching a ballerina on TV. And then there was a little pink table that went in this little cottage, this little baby cottage. It's got a heart on it. This playset also had a little white mailbox. We had a purple key that's got flowers and ribbons on it. She sticks right to that magnet. She's got a magnet on her. And then I also got a piece of the roof. <laughs> of this play set and another little spindle piece. I think that was supposed to help prop up the roof, something like that. Here's the ballerina. She's so cute, eh? Look at the pink and purple. She's striking a ballet pose. She's got very large feet for the size of her body, <laughs> but that would make sense. I mean, to keep her upright. This is the play set that I had when I was a child. It's the Pink Slippers Ballet Studio, number 5153. Um, it had a pink roof and it was just this little ballet studio. And you could, like you could, like I said, you could put the key underneath the floor and put the ballerina on top of the floor, move her around and it would look like she was dancing and twirling. This is the sign that went outside of the ballet studio, like kind of an advertising sign. It says precious places on it. Her key has ballet slippers on it and it's pink with a bow, pretty. And then she also had this little purple floor mirror. She could check herself out while she's doing her dance moves. <laughs> and then I got this little girl. Uh, this is her key. It doesn't have a sticker on the front. I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a, key, a sticker or not, um, but this one is blank. She's got a magnet on her as well. Cute little girl. She's got brown hair, pink shoes, pink and white dress. She's really dirty. I need to give her a good scrub. I think I need to scrub all of these. <laughs> she comes from the Magic Key Mansion, number 5166. And the Magic Key Mansion, I think, was like the main big, well, it was a mansion. Um, it was like the biggest place that you could get, I think. Don't quote me on the net. Um, because all of the other like separate furniture play sets that you could order. Um, they would fit into the Magic Key Mansion. 
I'm sure you could put them in some of the other houses and play sets as well, but I think they were designed to go into the mansion. And then I got these two pieces here, which are actually just fence pieces. Nothing too special about those, but that's what they are. And then last but not least, we have this little girl. Um, she's a little skating girl. She's on ice skates. She's pink, blue hat, blue shirt, blue mitts, and a cute little pink uh, dress or skating outfit. <laughs> you can see here that her comb, or not her comb, her magnet, magnet key is um, like see-through blue and the sticker is a snowflake. And I actually have two of these see-through combs. One is missing the sticker. Oh, I keep saying comb. It's not a comb. It's a key. And I actually have two of the little girls as well now. This uh, little castle piece here. It's also kind of see-through and matches the keys. We have just this little random piece of greenery, I guess. So all of these pieces are from the Ice Castle Skating Pond number 5187. So that is all for my haul today. Thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate every view, every like, every subscription, every comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.